But right now we have to uh, take the conversation in a different direction because every Wednesday we feature volunteerism here on, because volunteerism is so important. As a matter of fact, in May we have the United Way National Day of Caring. We'll be hearing much more about that. Elena is nodding her head <laughs> because she knows all <laughs> about it. Uh, but today, Elena Villafana Sylvester, founder of Feel, you've brought with you because every week you bring uh, someone or some organization who's doing great work mm -hmm. in Trinidad and Tobago with regard to volunteerism. You've brought with you Rachel Edwards, founder and director of Rach Rachel Edwards Ministry in Valencia. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome Good to the morning. show. Thanks. So I'm going to start with Rachel. Definitely Tell us about you. the work that you're doing in Valencia. Okay, well, Rachel Edwards Ministry is a faith-based organization aimed at helping the less privileged within the community and mm -hmm. the um, financially challenged yeah. family. So we do a lot of work from the Alexander Street base. Mm -hmm. We do classes in the um, area with the kids. We do after school programs. We do literacy um, programs, right. Bible classes, handicraft, sewing, cooking, um, teaching the youths how to use like light tools, right. and a lot of other things all combined, yeah. you know. And how many, so is it just Focus for young people because you said teaching no, the youth. It's across no, the board. It's across the so board. So how many lives did you have touched? Would you say hmm. how many people passed through the ministry? A lot. A lot. <laughs> a Elena lot. is laughing. Yeah, like on a monthly basis, we help like between 60, 75 wow. families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that multiplies that into grows, the community. Yeah, because one tell well. one, yeah. and you know they come forth. What made you want to do something like this? Oh, as a child growing up, my mom started this in Valencia Junction, and after she passed. In 2005, I saw the need to continue with it. Mm -hmm. So living abroad and coming ever so often, I saw where people were challenged with, you know, difficulties, and I decided to go into it where yeah. I can help yeah. in whatever form, you know, I try to assist the community. And Feel is your partner. Oh, yes, it And is. this, <laughs> and how is Feel involved? Um, well, uh, well, actually, in terms of providing material support to right. Rachel Edwards Ministry, but one of the things that um, really is unique about the work that... Um, that ministry does is that we are very focused on providing sustainable development ah, for so okay. so th there are a lot of sustainability initiatives yeah. and she mentioned the sewing right and what the ministry actually did was take unemployed single mothers and even grandmothers from the community who are taking care of their families right and provided an opportunity for them to earn have income. Earn an yeah. income. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So they've been making things. They started off um, making pillowcases yeah. and straight stitching, or uh, anything right. that was yes. straight stitching, and they've graduated now to making clothing. Right. And all of that is to empower the young woman. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me not say empower the young yeah. woman, yeah. to empower the community. The community, the community, the community. yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. And so you have seen the growth where persons have gone from, from unemployment, basic, yeah, mm -hmm. basic. To advance, uh -huh. self sustainer as Ms. Villafan said. Thriving businesses and, yes, and so on. Congratulations on that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. try to keep the program, the sewing program, between the month of September to November. So mm -hmm. when the holidays come in, mm -hmm. they could help themselves and also help the neighbors around yeah. and earn an income. So how would people get involved? So you would, uh, obviously people would come to you and say, mm -hmm. can you help this person? But is there a system that they go through so that you know that they are deserving of the assistance? Okay. Also, is there criteria? Yeah, well, I try mm -hmm. to keep a meeting every month. Right. And when families come, I evaluate. With mm -hmm. We have forms that they fill. Assess the situation and then we go out. Come to Ms. Villafana mm -hmm. if someone is in need of, you know, like wheelchair, yeah. um, crutches, um, walkers, you know, so we go out. Right. So we help as much as we can. Uh, as much I want to thank can. you for the so work that you're doing. Yeah. You see, wonderful people doing extraordinary things right yes. here in Trinidad and Tobago. Wonderful. Elena, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough yes. for the work that you're doing with Phil and for bringing and showcasing the people behind the scenes who are working mm -hmm. in the vineyards with regard to volunteerism. Elena Villafana Sylvester, no stranger to program, <laughs> founder, uh, director of CEO Field, of CEO, CEO of Field, CEO of Field, <laughs> <laughs> and Rachel Edwards, who is the founder, you are the I'm founder, founder yes. director Correct. of the Rachel Edwards yes. Ministry yes. in Valencia. Thank you so much for coming Thank on the program. Next week, we'll have another volunteer.